I'm going to do some random pulls for Cantonese style. If you don't know about Cantonese style, I do have links below to the lesson playlist. Basically, it's four sets and a pair of anything. The sets can either be three in a sequence or three of a kind. And the value of the hand is based on the combination of the tiles you use. So I'm going to do four random pulls, one for each seat wind, which is also part of the game. So if you want to know more about all that, just check out those videos. This is a great form of solitaire and it'll really help you figure out the different combinations that you can go for and how to maybe improve your score. So this is my wind of the round indicator. I'm going to start with east round and then I'm going to progress to south, west, and north. So we'll start with east round and I'm just going to roll the dice to see which seat wind I'm in because that will affect your score. I'm going to start out as temporary east and I rolled a five. So if I'm temporary east and I count from me one, two, three, four, five, I'm actually east. So I am east and it is east round. I'm going to grab 13 random tiles. If you pull four from each side and have five in the middle, you have enough. And then we're going to see what kind of hand we can play here. So we have a wind, ooh, we have a pair of west. Even though that's not my wind, I'm east, which is number one. South is to my right, west is across from me. So this would be their wind. So I'm not gonna get score for that, but it may help me get to a half flush, which is actually three points or three, three fawn. Fawn or Han? I can't remember. I think it's Fawn, which is like a point, a scoring element. So I do, though, have a pair here. So I would totally get rid of the four bam. That's kind of an outlier. That four bam is going to do nothing for us. Now, here I've got five dots. I could chow the seven, eight, so I can get either a nine dot or a six dot and chow that. I could chow the one, two with a three, and then this would use the same tile, a three. So maybe I could chow that and use that for my pair and pung that. I think probably a half flush with dots would be the quickest win. And that would be a decent score. That would be three fawn. Or if I start drawing cracks, I might actually switch to cracks because I could pung, pung this, which is a three of a kind. And this could be a chow. I need a two crack or a five crack. But you don't want to mix chows in mixed suits. That will drive your score down by three fawn if you do that. So just keep that in mind. It's a choice that you have, but if you do choose to mix chows in different suits, you're going to cut your score down by three. So I like to go for big hands. I don't do that. I'll go for one or the other, most likely dots with honors. And honors are wins and dragons, any combination. That's what I would do with this one, half flush. We're five away, which is kind of a lot. So I'd have to draw really well or chow quicker than anybody else can in order to win on this. All right, let's do it again. And we are now going to do south round. And I, this time, am sitting at 11, which is also east. If you think about it, east is number one. And so it's going to be odds. One, three, five, seven, nine. Oh, 11. 11 is across from me. That's west. My bad. So west is my seat this time. If I'm sitting in temporary east at one, you just go one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. So I'm west this time. So my seat wind is west and the wind of the round is south.
All right, let's try that. And incidentally, I took out all the flowers because those are bonus tiles in this style. You don't play with them in your hand. So I just removed them so we don't have to fuss with replacing flowers. So I have four from each side and five in the middle. That's my set. And we have the West again. That's kind of funny. I thought I mixed them up pretty well. Maybe I didn't. And then we've got dots again, but these are different dots this time. So I think I mixed pretty good. Okay. There's our lineup here. We've got a pair of West, a white, a nice string of dots, and four offsuit. I would go for half flush. Pung the West. We have an actual chow in here already. Four, five, six. We need a seven dot to make that a chow. This could be maybe the, the pair. It'd be nice if we could draw a dragon because a dragon, a Pung a dragon all by itself is a fawn. So I would love to do that. But dots would be great. Any honors would be great. And we'll just throw these away. That's not a bad start four away from any combination, that's a really good start. I, I would have um, a strong, I think I would have a strong chance to win with this hand. Okay, we didn't get any, oh, West. West is my seat wind. I'd get an extra fawn for that as well. So this would be three fawn for a half flesh plus a fawn for my seat wind. So this would be a four fawn hand. That's decent. Okay, now we're on west round. And I'm gonna roll. So again, I'm temporary east, number one, and this is eight. So multiples of evens, you would just go two, four, six, eight. So south is two, two, four, six, eight. So this time I'm north. So I'm just gonna put a uh, four on that for the north seat to remind me which seat I'm in. So west round, I'm seat, seated in the north position. I think that's pretty good. I think I got a good mix that time. Too many. Four from each side and five in the middle. Ooh, look at all those honors. Even though they're not paired up, that's not that's not a bad thing. Because we have a pair of BAMs. Okay, that's nice. We're four away again. But I want to point something out here. So we've got one of each of these honors. North, East, West, red, white, and green. Oop, red, white, green. Red, white, and green dragons. And then we have a pair of twos, we could pung that, and then a six bam. So we could play half flush with four away from clearing to one suit and honors, or we might be able to play 13 orphans. We're six away from that. So I would hold that for a while to see if I draw into it. 13 orphans is the high, one of the highest scoring hands you can get. It is a is it 12 points, 12 fawn? I don't remember, maybe it's 10. I don't have my card with me. And I have a link to the scoring card below this video if you wanna know what the scoring elements are. Basically, it's one of each of the winds and dragons, one of each of the ones and nines, and any tile paired. So obviously, we're six away 
from making that work. But I would say plan A is a half flush. I would have to do a lot of drawing to pair these honors up and I would throw these away. And then as a plan B, if I start drawing ones and nines, I could go for 13 orphans. That is a coveted hand. Every time I play, I try for 13 orphans at least once if I'm set up for it, but we're seven away from 13 orphans. Anytime you're seven away from any, any given combination, that's a good start. So if we did a half flush, we're actually nine away. So half flush definitely is plan A. And then 13 orphans can be plan B, depending on how the drawing goes. I would sacrifice this pair if I drew into 13 orphans. Okay, now we are on north round. And this time I'm temporary east and I rolled a seven. One, three, five, seven. We're west again. So we are seated in the west seat and north is the wind of the round. Here we go. I'm going to try to grab from the middle this time. Okay, that's way too many. There. Four, four, five in the middle. Okay, here we go. Last one. Oh my goodness. Dragons, look at this. Pung of dragons, pung of dragons. That's too fun, just with these all by themselves. That is sweet. And then we have a west, and we're, we're west. This is the west wind. So th number three is west. And you can remember which seat you're in by saying, eat soup with nuts. East, south, west, north. The numbers are one, two, three, four. So west is number three. One, two, three. Three is across from east. So west is across from east. Eat soup with nuts. Okay, and then here we have some good chow tiles. Six, seven, eight. All we need is a seven bam. Three, four, five. We just need a four. So these would end up being our discards. So we're four away from a half flush with those dragons. That is awesome. Because we could pung that, throw that, pung that, throw that, chow that, throw that, chow that, throw that, we'd be ready on a west. That would be the progression I envision in my head. I don't know if we'll be lucky enough to do that. We could also draw into this instead of claiming discards. And if you want to see more about how that works, there's links below. Just click on those. So that's what I would do with this one, half flush with those lovely dragons. That would be nice score. Let's see, what would it be? One, two, because each, each pung of dragons is a fawn. So it'd be one, two, plus a half flush is three. So it'd be a four fawn hand. Because if I do chows, you don't get score for chows. Um, if I paired up and did all pung, all pung is three fawn, so that would even bring the score higher. But more likely than not, I would chow to win as quick as I could with a half flush, which is really a decent score. So this would be three fawn for a half flush, and then one fawn each for the dragon. So this would be a five fawn hand if I won. That is Cantonese style. Four sets and a pair three in a sequence or three of a kind, and you just take whatever you can get. Lots of flexibility in this style. Give it a try, it's really easy. And if you click those links below, check out the video series that I have there to learn how to play. You could learn in 15 minutes, really. And then um, you can check out the scoring. It's really the simplest way to learn. It's kind of ground level. I mean, it's really the closest to the original way to play the game. 
and so it's pretty easy compared to most other styles. Give it a try and let me know what you think. If you haven't joined my channel yet, don't forget to click subscribe so uh, when you come back you'll see a little bell and you click that bell you'll get notification of when I post new videos. And between now and the next random pull for Cantonese style, may all your picks be keepers.